Hey everyone, in today's video, we would be discussing some basic terms and methods in Pygame module. Also, we will see some related examples. So, let's get started. First up, we have initialization of the module. So, we write import Pygame and then we initialize it by writing pygame.init. We can also initialize a module in Pygame separately. Like here, I have written pygame.display.init. We have separately called upon display. We have separately initialized display module. Uh, but if we do this, you would not be able to work with other submodules. You have to uh, initialize them separately then. So that would be a little bit tedious. Rather, uh, we do this, pygame.init. This initializes all the subclasses and submodules of pygame. Okay. Now to quit or uninitialize any module, we use dot quit method. We have already used it in a game loop. Uh, once we are done with working with pygame, we do this pygame dot quit. And this is how it is uninitialized and we can move out of pygame. Okay. Then I hope you remember in the first video, I told you that any pygame code would be divided into three parts and that is initializing, setting up the screen and the game loop then. So the second part we have that is setting up the screen. So the setting up of screen is done using the display module. Okay. So please listen carefully. Display module creates a new surface object which helps us visualize whatever we have created a text, a drawing, or an image. It can be anything, okay. Um, and display method helps us visualize what we have created on the screen we set using the set mode, okay. So this 600 comma 600 is the size of the screen. Okay, last time also we saw this. And uh, it is not just confined to setting up the screen, giving sizes. It has methods like get in it. Get in it gives us a boolean response, it returns a boolean response, which tells us if the display module is initialized or not. It has quit, of course. It has in it to initialize, and uh, it has get surface method, which gives reference to the current window. Window. Okay. So if you don't get this right now, it's all right because. Uh, we have not seen any example related. Once we see that, you would be a little bit clear with it. We have flip and update. There is a difference between flip and update, although they are a little bit same, similar. What does flip do? It updates the entire video, a uh, window. Okay. Uh, but update updates only portions of the window. Okay. Uh, which are specified and uh, whereas flip doesn't do it so you can say that update is an optimized version of flip so we usually use update so that less memory is used okay then we have fill method which fills up the screen with some color okay so we are done with the second step let's move on to the third part that would be um, rect like I would discuss uh, the rec module. The rec class in Pygame is used to manipulate rectangular surfaces and store those objects. We can make copies of those objects, move them across the screen and do a lot of things to manipulate them, edit them. Okay. We always use rec if we want to work with something that requires another surface or layer while writing a text while uh, working with an image. For example, here, we are working with an image. Okay, I have loaded the image. Okay, uh, don't worry, this is another subclass. Image is another subclass in Pygame and I have loaded it. Okay, uh, simple. And then what I have done is I have made another variable which is been declared a rect class object. Okay, ball.getRect. This is how I have declared it as a rect class object and what it does it is it uh, 
loads this image on a rectangular surface okay so that we can view it on the screen fine uh, so this is one functionality of rect uh, rect class okay we can even copy uh, this object ball object or ball rect and uh, use it otherwise we can move it we can move it in place we can change its size by using in plate we can uh, update its positions we can change its where it is located on the screen we can clip it we can crop it we can resize it and uh, much more uh, rect involves much more functionalities but these are some basic ones so uh, which we would require right now okay so yeah let's move on to the very important part of pygame code that is the gaming loop okay and the gaming loop involves events every action in pi game is named through a queue okay a queue is a list which follows uh, first in and first out principle uh, i don't know if you know about queue or not it's a data structure and it follows first in and first out principle and uh, it's it's just a simple list where insertion and deletion on da are done from different ends okay so just treat it like a list and uh, all the events are stored into a queue okay so every time we call if pygame.event uh, an action or an event from the queue is popped out and been carried out okay it has been handled uh, the instructions are been carried out so that we do not face any loss of event as the queue might get filled over uh, over time okay and following this an event can also be an input from the keyboard so to do it, deal with keyboard uh, inputs we have a different subclass that is key okay so whenever we call this pygame.key down and key, key up whenever a key is pressed these are automatically called up. okay and uh, this then helps pygame.event to carry out the definite or whatever uh, event is said to be carried out for example i have written down a little bit of code for you which is talking about how key down and key up works so here um, i have just written pygame.key down because key down and key up are simultaneous processes as you press a key first key down is called and then you release it then key up is called okay so you don't need to write it uh, like separately pygame.key down or key up i have just written key down okay and uh, if the event of key event dot key okay is ka this is the way of t uh, telling that the key pressed is a okay and uh, this is the way of telling that the key pressed is zero you can have it for all the keys on the keyboard okay so or else if not something else is pressed you output a key which pressed so let's run this and let's see how it works run this and yeah uh, so now I'd press A. So A was pressed. It outputs A was pressed. I hope you can see it. Okay. Then uh, when I when I press zero, it shows zero was pressed. If I press E, a key was pressed because I did not mention anything for E. Okay. So yeah, let's stop this and uh, let's go back to our initial page. Uh, this is how we work with keys and keys have a lot of other methods uh, like get focused is there if we uh, to check if we are receiving keyboard inputs properly from the system we have get pressed like to get the state of all the keyboard buttons then we have name each of these keys have an identifier so uh, we get that identifier from this we get the key code we can get the key code from the name uh, this takes an argument and from the name we can get the uh, identifier okay and so and so we have 
in other methods also we'll see them once we use them in further examples okay uh, so coming back to the game code um, that was we had initialized the ball uh, image and then we have we are working with uh, getting it on the rect class okay rect, uh, we have got it on a rect class object and i have mentioned the speed this is 1 comma 1 it works as an argument of rect class uh, method move okay so what i've done is i've given it i've given speed as an argument so it shows that the x-axis with respect to the x-axis uh, the object would be moving one um, uh, one units and with y-axis it would be also moving one okay so so a rectangle would always have on a, on a plane it would always have four points the left right top and bottom i hope you can imagine it and when the left point is less than zero the speed is uh, the, the zeroth coordinate like this one is changed to minus one because we need to oppose the motion now okay or even when uh, this happens when it's to the extreme right like it is more than the size of the screen similarly uh, for top and bottom we are changing the y-axis okay motion of the y-axis and we will fill the screen with some color that is white right now and we'll do blit which is loading the ball object ball variable the image on the ball rect okay uh, and then we are displaying it by, and updating the complete thing okay uh, complete sc uh, screen let's see how this works if we this is a random motion if we uh, make 0 comma 1 so it should only move along the y-axis let's see if it does so yeah it is moving along the y-axis okay it's not traveling anymore and what if we make this happen it should just move along the y-axis but with more speed yeah it does okay so that's pretty much it so next up we have some more definitions uh, or more subclasses the first one is font uh, we'd be discussing these in very brief because we'd be working with them further and we'd be discussing them more deeply in the next upcoming videos we have font when we'd be working with text uh, printing uh, getting a text on the screen we'd work with font we can uh, like see what the default font is what all fonts are there we can create a new object from a file we can uh, change the edit the text the style of the text we can style it we can make it bold we can make it italic we can underline it we can see what the size is we can see the ascent and descent of the text and we can do a lot more then when we'd be working with images we'd be uh, using this image class and uh, image module and uh, we can load and unload an image we can change its format we can save the image we can crop it then we have time we can keep a track of for how long the program has been running we can change the frame rates then we have music uh, module to work with audios and we can rewind, we can stop, we can play the mu uh, audio and uh, we have even the draw module to draw shapes like circles, polygons, we can even draw a line and curves and so this is pretty much about the very basic uh, and startup things that, uh, and the startup uh, modules that are available in Pygame there are many more Pygame modules and uh, we would be seeing them later on but let's 
get our hands on to these uh, some of these modules and work with them in the upcoming videos and see the examples of them